Ashley, the Monogram Mompreneur, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to embroider the ears of these cute bunnies for Easter. So stay tuned. Welcome to my channel if you're new here, and please make sure you hit subscribe and hit that little notification bell to make sure you don't miss a new video. I'll be having some embroidery tutorials, sublimation tutorials, and Etsy shop vlogs coming up here soon. So make sure you subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you don't mind. That helps me more than you know. Alright, so let's get into embroidering these cute bunnies. Okay, so these bunnies, they look a little rough. They're from Hobby Lobby. I feel like I got them like one or two years ago. And I have been scouring um, Hobby Lobby, Target, um, Walmart to see if I can find them in store. Because a lot of places sell these, but they're not going to be shipping to the person embroidering um, until like March and that's kind of close. Um, Easter is April 4th this year. I'll link some companies below. I think Bayou Blanks has a pre-order going for them now. Um, I know Allstitch.com has those cubbies that have the area where you can embroider on the stomach. So they have those um, for a reasonable price. So drop a comment below if you've seen them in like a local store. But yeah, so these, I got lucky. I wish Hobby Lobby still sold these. So let me know if you've seen them. But let's get started. So um, first things first, if you are selling these, you have to decide, first of all, which type of bunny you get will kind of determine where you're going to embroider. So I've seen some people do the inside and these kind of like lay so nice so I'm just going to do the outside. So you pick which side you want to do and if you want it to show through or if you want to seam rip and then sew it back. Um, for these particular bunnies I think it's going to look nice just to have it on the outside um, so it shows nicely and it lays nicely. A lot of people um, get the bunnies with a different color fabric so they do it on the inside. So just make sure if you're selling them you show exactly what you're doing and if it shows through on the back or not. Um, and you're clearly in your pictures in your description and you should be good to go. So it's your personal choice whether you want to open the back or if you just want it to show through. I'm just going to let it show through. Um, I think it'll be fun. And so we're going to measure the ear. This will work for all bunnies. You just measure the ear, find center, and figure out what size font you're going to use. This particular ear is almost 8 inches long. Um, yes, your ear might be different, so I'm just going to find center, or I might do it this way. So you just have to decide where you're going to put it. Um, I'm going to be using like a one and a half inch font for a longer name, and two inch font for a shorter name. If you're selling these, make sure you specify longer names may be smaller um, due to height restrictions. So as long as you cover your bases, you should be good. So let's get started, and we'll measure. And I'm just going to use sticky stabilizer, I think, today. Or um, I would use a tearaway and pin. Okay, let's get started. All right, so we've got our cute bunny here. I've got my fast frame, um, sticky stabilizer, and I've got some pins. And I'm going to embroider going down. And I want to kind of miss this one little crease right here. There's my center. About my center point, And then... Alright, so I'm just going to pin this sucker down. I'm using the Sulky Plus I love. It's a little more expensive than the World Widener brand. Um, so for like things that matter if it comes off quickly, if that makes sense. Ease of coming off is super important um, for fluffy stuff. So use the Sulky um, for this. And then we're going to be using some water soluble stabilizer. I think this might be Sulky as well. Or I got it from Wholesale Boutique. They sell some embroidery supplies. I'm not going to use a knockdown stitch today, but you could um, totally. Um, I would recommend if you have embroidered enthusiasts, if you want to do a knockdown stitch, do the one that's behind the font. I think that's so cool. Um, they also have, um, like in my Christmas stocking tutorial, how to embroider fuzzy things. If your bunny is super fuzzy and you want to do a knockdown stitch, I'll link it right here. It's how to embroider furry, fuzzy items so that your font shows through. These aren't super furry. Um, it's more like just a Mickey jacket type feel. So I'm not too worried about a knockdown stitch. We'll see though. Okay. So I'm just putting my stabilizer on. 
I'm going to go ahead and mark. You can do these on your um, single needle. You definitely don't need a multi-needle for these. You would just do your hoop and you can float it on some tear away. Okay, so I'm going to use um, a two inch font on this one. I'm going to make sure all that fur behind is pressed and it's not bunched. And then I want to make sure that crease at the top um, is flattened as well. I'm going to put pins in the section that I know I'm not embroidering because you don't want your embroidery machine to hit a needle. Okay, little fella, I think I'm going to do one more pin up here. Okay, so there he is. And we're going to put some water soluble stabilizer. I might do two sheets, we'll see. All right, so I have my name loaded. I am using Itch to Stitch Sneaker Spot. I think that's my new font that I love um, for baby items and kids' items. So what I'm going to do, so I'm going to hold Mr. Bunny. Okay, so I'm going to lay him right there. All right, so we're going to get our water soluble stabilizer. So just figure out which way works best for you, your machine, your bunny that you're doing. You may have a completely different bunny. Um, and so first I'm going to find it on here. I'm going to do a trace. Okay, so I found center on my ear and I knew I had that like crease at the top of his ear. So I moved it down to a comfortable place um, where I wanted the stitch out to go. Then I'm going to, I'm going to use two sheets today. I'm going to um, see if that helps. And I'm going to use my clips to just secure this water soluble stabilizer. All right, let's get it going. So I'm going to do a navy thread. Uh, again, this is itch to stitch. Sneaker spot. And you know what? I think I'm going to add another layer of tearaway underneath just for a little extra stabilization. You probably don't have to, um, but I'm just, just to be sure. I know my kids are rough with their stuffed animals. All right, let's get it going. machine. I think if it had been this, um, going this way, I would have had to hold it. So I'm not mad at the way I stitched it. I think it works great. All right, so here it is. And I think the double layer of water soluble really helped. You see a little bit of fur, um, but I think it helped a lot. So let's see. We're going to take off the clips and then I'm just going to take off the water soluble. Take out my pins. Don't forget those pins. They're like, oh, yep, found that one. And then I'm just going to gently, I, actually, I'm going to take that off. I like doing one layer at a time. And then I'm going to try to rip it off all together. I figured out a long time ago if you rip it off and then have to go back, it's a lot harder. So let's see if I can work it. Yeah, definitely use the Sulky brand. That ruled um, widener brand I use sometimes in my video would not come off this. Let me just put it out there. Um, it's great for in the hoop projects and other things, but for furry stuff, uh-uh, nope. So I'm sure you could just do tear away and spray it. I just don't want to spray any type of adhesive. Um, if you don't want to do sticky, just do tear away and pin it. Um, I think that's my, what I might do with the next one. I'm going to hoop it and see how it works, I think. Hoop the tear away. Look at that. Oh, it turned out so cute, and that font is just adorable. I'd recommend doing a, a dark color. Again, if you wanted to do a knockdown stick um, through like in Brilliance Enthusiast, where it goes behind the font, you totally could do that if you have a super furry bunny. Um, but I think it turned out really adorable. Look at that. And then this is what the other side looks like. It's not bad at all. So yeah. So I'm going to do the, um, the pink one for my daughter real quick and then we'll do a final show.
Okay, so there is the finished product. This is the sneaker spot in the one and a half inch. So there is the two inch and the one and a half inch font. These turned out so cute. Again, you see the difference in size. So my biggest tip for these is just to figure out what works best for your machine, the bunny you're doing, whether you wanna offer them on the inside or the outside, whether you wanna rip the stitch out and just have it nice and clean. Um, whatever works best for you. There's no wrong way to do these. It's your personal preference. Um, and if you don't have to use sticky, I would just recommend using a tearaway um, in a hoop. I think it'd be a little less headache to get off at the end. Um, but I, you know, I love my fast frames and I'm a glutton for punishment with the sticky stabilizer. So I would just recommend a tearaway and some pins um, and then the double layer of water soluble stabilizer on the top works great. For these type of bunnies, um, if it's super plush, try a knockdown stitch. But how cute are these? And these are not just for Easter. A lot of people sell these year round as baby gifts. Um, so think outside the box a little bit. When you're taking your pictures um, this season, make sure you take some non Easter ones and see if you can sell them all year long. So that's it for today for how to embroider bunny ears. Please make sure you hit subscribe. We would love to have you here. I have new videos every week. And make sure you give me a thumbs up. That's the biggest compliment you can give me um, is a thumbs up. So make sure you do that. YouTube um, will help show my video to more people that might need this tutorial. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.